Hi everybody. Today we will continue our ESP series and uh, we will talk about ESP Easy and MPRS X8 Home Automation Board. And if you remember from last time, uh, we were um, talking about how to upload the new firmware, what option do we have for doing this and we have tested the board and everything was okay. So we went after that through the step of uh, configuring the ESP Easy firmware and we uh, put together if you want all the, the parameters that we need for uh, smooth running. Uh, now we are on part four and uh, this time finally we will start talking about uh, uh, domotics and about how to configure the ESP Easy Home Automation Board with it. Uh, if you remember from the last time, I was saying that there are two very, very important things that need to be done before going to domotics. Uh, one of them is to be sure that you have the, the protocol established as domotics HTTP and also be sure that you are providing the, the right IP for your um, domotics controller and port and so on. Okay. The, the, the second thing that we need to take care of is the fact that on SDA and SCL we have the GPIO 4 and 5. Uh, the last step that we were talking was the one related with uh, defining the, the extra devices. So basically here the, it's the place where we are defining uh, the drivers for our MPRS X8 board. And if you remember, we have done only the first one as an example because <clears throat> this is a quite a long repetitive process that is done for all eight um, relays or all eight used channels. So it was really doesn't make sense to uh, waste time with. So what we have here, we have defined all the relays. So as you can see, for each relay, we have a specific port and a specific IDX variable. This is very, very important. Uh, the port is fixed. So this one, if you want, are hard coded and these are specific for MPRS X8 board. And the IDX variable, it really depends on your setup. So uh, you need to keep them in mind because we need to use them when we will start defining the devices in the domotics. Yeah. So for MPRS uh, X8 uh, Home Automation Board, we have the following values. For the relay X1, it's port 69 IDX1. For relay X2, it's port 70 IDX2. For relay X3, it's 71 and IDX3. For relay X4, it's 72 IDX4. Let's go also on the next page because we have op uh, 8 in total. X5, it's 65 with 5. X6, it's 66 with 6. X7, it's 67 with 7. And X8, it's 68 with 8. Okay, so with all these values in place and with the configuration done, we should be able to access and properly switch the MPRS uh, X8 uh, channels. Yeah, so <clears throat> for example, let's choose. Uh, let's go on the first page and choose the first one. It's port 69. Yeah. So 69, we will uh, send a zero. And as you can see here, the corresponding LED channel, it's off. Yeah. Well, let's go uh, to the next channel. That it's 70. You see that the second one, it's now off. 71 the third one it's now off and 72 the fourth one it's off yeah so we have now all the four channels off uh it's obviously that it's working in the same way for for the next four ones so if we are going on five it's off on six it's off on seven, it's off. On eight, it's off. Yeah. So 
now we can see all the A channels are off. Uh, please keep in mind, and it might be a good idea to go back and uh, take a look on the um, uh, hardware presentation of on the MPRS X8 board. That these LEDs uh, are used if you want as a standard industrial panel signaling. So when the LEDs are off, that means that the channels are on. And when the LEDs are on, then all the channels are off. I explained uh, a little bit in that video why I choose to do it in this way and why I consider it uh, more safer than the normal signaling way. Uh, in terms of domotics, it's no problem at all. You can choose the uh, signaling in domotics to correspond with this status panel or you can choose obviously to have uh, on in domotics when the channel is on and off in domotics when the channel is off but this panel this status panel will remain the same yeah this is from my point of view let's say the the lifesaver of the person that will will work on the main slides yeah okay so now let's go back and switch them back on to see that it's working also on the the other status yeah so the four channels are now on sixty nine 70, 71, and now 72. Okay, so now we can say that um, all eight channels are, are properly configured and we can access them properly without uh, any related problems. Okay, so now finally it's time to, to go to domotics. And if you remember, we said that we want, um, we have uh, the IP address 116. So uh, here should start loading the domotic server that we have. Uh, I have now installed it on a, on a Raspberry Pi 2. So this is the, the standard main interface of the domotics. Uh, the first thing that we need to uh, do is to go and set up in hardware. Uh, we have already the MPDM version 4 dimmer defined here from uh, some previous examples. Um, first thing that we need to do is to just create uh, another, let's say, uh, dummy driver yeah so let's say mprs x8 board yeah it's dummy because we are using it only for defining the virtual switches yeah so i've just add another dummy device here after that i will press the create virtual sensor button uh, here uh, i will uh, name it uh, let's say uh, X1 sensor type it's um, switch now if we are going in the devices we should find it right there yeah so as you can see it's the MPRSX board it's unit one, it has name X1, and it's a light switch. Uh, we can go now in uh, switches, and we can edit the, the new switch. This switch type is on off. And now we need to define the actions for on and off, yeah? So uh, let's say on action will be, uh, 
I said x1 that means 69 and this is on action and this is off action and for off action I will put 0 okay uh, let me save it <coughs> okay uh, now if we press the switch we can see it working yeah so as you can see here it's exactly what i told you before yeah so now the interface the dashboard of the motix if you want let me put it on the favorites and go on it on the dashboard yeah so on the dashboard we have defined the the first um, main switch relay yeah uh, now it's in sync and uh, as you can see when i'm i'm pressing the x1 switch on the domotix dashboard it will uh, activate and deactivate the corresponding channel yeah uh, please keep in mind again that now the dashboard it's synchronized with the um, if you want the the relay uh, status panel from here yeah so when this light is off that means that the channel is on yeah now when the light is on the channel is off uh, <clears throat> if you don't like this behavior and in the domotics dashboard you just want to have the light on when it's on and the light off when it's off then it's very very simple just go back in switches on your defined x1 switch and just change the actions yeah so on action will be now zero and off action will be now one yeah and if we are going on the dashboard we will see that it, it will start working as we want it so now as you can see light it's off the corresponding mains it's off it switch it off and the light it's on yeah now when i'm pressing the switch on the dashboard the led it's going off and this is uh, very good that is signaling me that the the um, channel it's on now and the the light bulb if you want the light bulb sign on the dashboard it's remaining on yeah so these are just the two options it really depends how you want to to implement your dashboard uh, if you want it uh, to signal you the the lifeline or the offline it's obviously up to you i'm just showing you that you have different possibilities so it's it's more flexible if you want from this point of view and of course this uh, panel will give you will continue giving you the the status in the way that i explained already yeah okay so this is how you you can configure a channel uh, we can go obviously and we can uh, uh, configure even more so let me create another sensor x2 it's switch let's create another one x3 it's switch and let's create another one x4 it's switch and now if you are going in the devices we will find them all here yeah and uh let's go now in switches and in switches we will take x2 uh, we will define again the on and off actions 0 1 um, 70 70 
let's save it x2 let's take a look what's happening on x2 as you can see it's switching on yeah so the led will become off this channel is working okay um, let's go on the next one zero one uh, 71 71 save this is x3 if we are pressing now the x3 one it's on and the status led it's obviously off and now let's go to the fourth one we have now 72 72 save and let's see the, the status of the fourth one it's working okay now we can add all the four on the favorites and let's see how it's looking the dashboard yeah so as you can see very very quickly we have defined four channels uh, in the same way we can define also the, the other four but uh, I think it's enough for this example to show you the, the four channels the other ones are done in the same way so it's nothing different so let's see how they are working how they are reacting I'm pressing x1 x2 x3 x4 and now all the four channels are off and of course all the four status led are on yeah let's try again x1 x2 x3 x4 x4 x3 x2 x1 okay so now we can say that uh, everything is uh, working okay the all the tests that we have run were successfully so that's it uh, we we just finished our uh, uh, domotic setup as you have seen um, because of the hardware design of the MPRS x8 board and the fact that it's fully compatible with the ESP easy firmware that it's working so well with domotics uh, everything has become very very simple and very very easy to implement uh, I want to thank you all for the fact that you are watching at my tutorials and if you like them please give me a big thumbs up and also please subscribe thank you very much and see you next time